Oh boy, this is about to spark all kinds of conspiracy theories. Welcome to the channel, folks. I'm Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance, man. I really appreciate every last one of you taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure you follow me on all the platforms you see listed up here and down here, if you would, please. All right. And don't forget, clicking this right here does not mean that you like my video or you like me. It means that you want more of my content that I post recommended to you. Last thing, seriously, check to see if you're still subscribed to me because YouTube will unsubscribe you from me all right let's get to it oh boy y'all 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 know i told you guys as the summer heats up physically outside and you start to acclimatize to it one thing that you most likely will not acclimatize to is the heat that's going to be coming politically yes we found out about hunter biden guilty today we know trump a few weeks ago guilty on all 34 counts things are just constantly heating up i know that some of y'all sent me videos in and clips whatever like that and you know, clippings of readings of what happened in Atlanta. I may cover it. I may not. I do not know. But this right here is one of those things that a lot of folks, y'all have been conspiring and saying all sorts of things about this for the longest. And that is President Joe Biden is not going to make it to the election, that he's going to be replaced because he's doing so terrible. It's what they feel. It's not just coming from people like on the right. It's also coming from people on the left. They're feeling like, oh, man, Joe Biden is not doing it, man. We got to come up with something else. We're not able to really get Trump. You know, I'm not going to give too much of a way. Check this out. Here with reaction, Harris poll chair, Mark Penn, the host of Tommy Laren is fearless. There's no such thing as a fearful Tommy Laren anyway on OutKick, Tommy Laren. Uh, Tommy, let's get your take. It's a long list of people now. It's James Carville. I won't speak for Mark Penn. I'll let him speak for himself. But it's Van Jones, it's David Axelrod, it's Maureen Dowd, Nate Silver now joining the chorus. You have been saying, do you still believe 140 days out you think they're going to replace Biden? I absolutely believe they're going to replace Biden. I believe it's going to happen either at the convention or shortly thereafter. I think the Democrats are far too strategic and they're far too used to winning and they enjoy winning far too much to take a risk with Joe Biden. And I know they took a risk in 2020, but when we look back at the debates in 2020 and we look at when he was newly elected, he was in far better shape then than he is now and he was slipping then. So I don't think they can possibly take that risk. I do believe they're going to swap him out. I also think that when it comes to this first debate, we need to actually raise our expectations of Joe because us counting it as a win if he's able to sit upright and complete a sentence is giving him far too much credit because then he'll claim a victory just like he did after the State of the Union because he was able to get through it in one piece. So we have to raise our expectations of Biden and we also have to put the onus on the Democrat agenda and not just the messenger but the actual message because if and when they do swap out Biden, we have to be ready on the Republican side, and we cannot be caught flat-footed if they bring Gavin Newsom in, and he's a shiny new toy. We can't let that happen. The strategy of the Democrats is unmatched. I don't think it'll Never be Gavin. That. I think it would more likely be Whitmer if they have the ability to bypass uh, Vice President Harris. Um, Mark, can anybody really conclude anything else that smart Democrats like yourself, you really don't want Biden, do you? Well, I think I'll... I'll defer that one per se, but look, I didn't think he was going to run. He decided to run. And you know what? He swept the Democratic primaries. These are his delegates. It's his convention. The idea that he's not going to be the nominee, I think, is a fantasy. I think the party is around him. I don't know why James said what he said. It's not really particularly useful at this point. The only thing I'll say is this but wait, debate. But Mark, you know why in he June said what he said. The convention's a little risky. You know why he said it. Well, well what's the point of saying obvious. that now? He, he, it, it's obvious this guy is a mumbling, bumbling, stumbling, fumbling, you know, guy. He could barely string sentences together. However, I do take Tommy's admonition really seriously. I think we'll see the return of jacked up Joe. Whatever Joe drank, ate, took before the State of the Union, maybe it was just Red Bull and, and caffeine pills, I don't know. Whatever it was, that was not the normal Joe. 
We never saw it before, and we haven't seen it since. But we will see it for the debate. Now, there are some even saying, Mark, that Donald Trump might be wise to just pass on the first debate, wait till he's nominated, then debate him. What would you say to that? Oh, I'd say he accepted it. He accepted it in the lion's den. I, if I were Donald Trump, I would have done some better negotiating here. But I don't think he can back out now without really looking uh, cowardly. And, and I think Biden has, uh, you know, said he's going to meet the challenge. I think it's a big test. Whether, he's, whether you think he's jacked up or not, if he can get through that debate, he'll lift his campaign. And if he can't, I suspect it, it might actually be in some jeopardy. They might have actually, Joe might have done Donald Trump a favor, and I say this affectionately, Tommy, by insisting that when it's not his turn to speak that they mute his microphone, because I think that was a mistake in the first debate in 2020. Your reaction? Well, I would uh, hope a lot of things for that first debate. Obviously, it's stacked against Donald Trump, and we know that. But I think Donald Trump has an incredible opportunity in this first debate to act more presidential than he's ever acted in his entire life, push everything on Joe and Joe's failing agenda and his failed policies, which is the Democrat failed policies and agenda. If Donald Trump just sits back and he lets Joe talk himself into a corner, then Donald Trump will win that first debate. He just has to restrain himself, which I believe he can do, pull it in, act as presidential and dignified as possible, and he will win against Joe Biden and his failed policies. He simply can't stand on those, and quite frankly, he can't stand at all. All right. Let me ask you this. If, in fact, Joe, for whatever reason, Mark Penn went out, um, Tommy's convinced it would be Gavin Newsom. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't think it would be Gavin. That's just my guess. Um, I have no inside knowledge, except that he told me over and over and over and over again when I interviewed him and in the debate with Governor DeSantis that he wouldn't do it. Okay, so I think the most likely person, if it's not Vice President Harris, would be uh, Governor Whitmer. That's my take. Uh, people have floated the name of Michelle Obama. I don't think she's up to the job myself. Who would be the most likely Democrat? Who would you pick if you had to choose somebody? Well, again, you have to go through the history here. These delegates were nominated for this ticket. Harris, I think, would be the likely nominee if for some reason, any reason, Joe Biden had to remove himself. You could bet on that as almost a certainty. You think it would be Kamala Harris? Yes, absolutely. So like I was saying, it's like, uh, we're, oof, let's, we got to think this through. What can we do? Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to just go ahead and jump on this little train a little bit of you guys that's on this conspiracy kick. Some of you guys are thinking that this is going to be opportunity for Michelle Obama to get pushed in there. Some of you said, look, Obama and them have been increasing their fundraising in certain areas and all that, yada, yada, peanut butter. Now, guys, I keep an open mind about a lot of things. Michelle Obama said that she has no plans. <laughs> you get it? She says she has no plans. Gavin Newsom said he has no plans on running for president. I think Joe Biden is great. He's brilliant. He's smart. He's wit. He's witty. He, President, you know, so Michelle Obama said the same thing. She has no plans. It don't mean that something can happen to where it was unplanned that you ran for president. So that's what I'm saying. I get the conspiracies and all that, guys. I'm just saying, don't put it past it. I mean, it's considered a conspiracy that the election was completely fair across the board, right? <laughs> do I think that something like this can happen personally? Yeah. You bet your bottom dollar I do. Something could come up. Oh, Joe Biden suffered of this. He suffered of that. Oh, he fought bravely. He had. He still had a little bit of anger. He had to be, we found an aneurysm. He might not be fit. Who can we turn to? Bring. I'm telling y'all, Gavin Newsom would not have much of a chance more than what Michelle Obama would should they say we got to bring Michelle Obama back in. And Barack Obama would get that whole dream of his when he said, if I can still do things behind closed doors, he would do it that way, in which we know. No, we don't know. It is suspected that President Obama is the one that's running the show anyway. So to have... Barack, President Barack Obama back in the White House again under his wife, Michelle Obama. 
four years or even possibly eight, whoo, that will be something that the Dems definitely could use as a key piece to allow the elites that allow the wicked entities to work with them to carry on this complete world agenda we see going on right now. And that's the destruction of human kind, whether it's through abortion, whether it's through really pushing same sex couples to do things. Cause one thing you can't do is a same sex couple. You cannot procreate. We can go and adopt. It doesn't matter. You can't procreate. You can't, you can adopt kids. You can freeze your eggs and have a man. Sperm. It does not matter. As a married couple or even as a couple together, you won't be able to procreate same-sex people can. They won't. Purpose of it is that, I mean, the whole purpose of them doing this is because they, entities, they hate you. Yeah, they're allowed to, the, the elites, they'll continue to go on. Look, Mark my words, y'all. Don't believe me. Go look it up. Go research it. The elites, they're going to continuously have traditional families, children, because they want them children to carry on what they're doing as well, running the world, running you. It's plain and simple. Anyway, how did I get off on that? Question. Do you think that something is going to happen to Joe Biden to where he will be slid out of the way and then somebody like Michelle Obama would be put in there or a Gavin Newsom? Who else do y'all think that they would probably try to put in place of President Joe Biden should something happen where they just say, okay, he's not fit? Because guys, come on now. Look, folks, I know that some of you guys are Democrats, which is completely fine. I know we all don't see things the same way, which is why I love America. I'm glad that everybody's not like each other. I'm glad we all don't think the same. I'm glad we all don't see things the same way. That's I love that. I wouldn't want nobody being exactly like me. That would suck. Okay. With that being said, to my Dems or even body, you could be Republican. I don't even care. You could be independent. Doesn't doesn't even matter. Can we all agree that something is wrong with President Joe Biden? If so, you state what you think is wrong with him. Leave it in the comments below at this video. Before you guys get out of here, make sure you click that right there. I really appreciate it. If you do it, and again, thank you for taking time out to view my content. Make sure you, if you uh, have a cell phone, to let somebody on your cell phone know about this channel. Encourage them to subscribe to this channel. If you have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, any of those, DM somebody. That means give them a direct message and let them know about this channel. Encourage them to check it out and subscribe to it, all right? See you guys on the next one. I might do some music reactions today, guys, for stay trying for sure. Yeah, I was going to screw up. I'm not editing now. You guys know I am. I was going to say, I am doing some reaction videos, so make sure y'all stay tuned because I'm probably going to post quite a bit of those because I missed May and I have June to make up for. So reactors, people who ever sent things in through Patreon, I got y'all. I am Ty Smith, my Renaissance man. I'm a horse. I had a debate, guys, and oh, it was so fun. Anyway, that's why my voice sounds different. That's why I'm talking low. I am Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.